it's a little too early for me boys and girls but bless nonetheless welcome back today probably not a whole lot of action let me get out this sun real quick though just heading up to brick city gonna drop the whip off very very excited to be collabing with all these companies got some amazing companies on board for this build for this uh super show build so brick city is the number one uh or the not the number one but the first stop on this very long list on um, what they're doing basically like the first thing almost any razor or any utv owner period should do is just you know slap a cage on there dude safety uh makes it look probably 10 times better in my opinion and uh after brick city um probably stop go head over to mts get some shock work done get the limit straps put, put on and then that way this car's ready to rip shout out my boy price kate price designs be making us some badass wheels got the stus in already then gonna head over to proline get it wrapped up who else dirt direct shout out to them we're gonna be using their whips some of their lights some of uh the other, other little um accessories and stuff for the new car so it's gonna be exciting gonna be uh very stressful i don't know i've never done anything like this so we'll see how this goes got the mama lona cooling off because you know in arizona it's hot as hell already first thing in the morning so let's see what we get ourselves into man how about that front end i'm not even sure if you guys will be able to tell but man that front end is so freaking good looking man i was i'm so stoked that we were able to get one this early get one period and uh, get going on this thing but on another note september 6th friday night we're gonna do a big ass night right here in my lovely hometown of yuma um it won't be a crazy ride like just kind of a little loop through some of the desert here and uh we're gonna be giving away some polaris stuff i think we're gonna get 50 60 like swag bags i don't know stay tuned for what's gonna be in it but i mean if it's free it's for me and we're gonna be doing some giveaways probably like some baja designs lights some chupacabra mirrors things like that so should be a good time and uh should be you know something for the fam to come out check some cars out check these cars out this one should be done by then um at least with the cage and the the first part of this build so uh, it'd be really cool for you guys to come see them and then uh nick from chupacabra is coming down with his speed and uh, that'll be out here too so we'll be ripping the desert two uh polaris pro r's the new ones and then uh my homie nick with the speed so it should be a good time man this is insane to me we're pulling up to brick city how crazy what a freaking match made in heaven seriously <laughs> they're right next to the freaking dixon headquarters like how insane is this bro <laughs> but yeah hell yeah man shout out to the team at brick city finally get to meet them put a face to the name and stuff for both of us uh, hopefully you know this uh, is the beginning to a long cool friendship you know partnership we'll see how their shop is i was hoping you know honestly it's funny because like the gps brought me through a certain way and i was like oh that's pretty cool i think it's you know near the south end so i can probably stop at dixon at some point you know when i'm done and then i'm pulling up and boom big old dixon building and stuff so that's pretty that's pretty uh freaking cool i love these doors guys with these freaking armrests it's like so comfy too it's not like all unnatural something very minor you know that polaris listens to but Woo. this car is so badass bro It'll just be sharper. Maybe we go like inch and a half instead or something. I don't know. Something to catch because I need, if you're going to, are you doing a windshield or no? So my, yeah, actually, yeah. We would like a crossbar, two intrusion bars, and then make it maybe a windshield frame for us. Okay. I'm not sure what. Yeah, what. absolutely. Yeah, that's that's cake. I just want to make sure that we can support it in the center. So we'll see how, how drastic I can get the slope. I obviously want the lines to flow really nice. But yeah. Like also line of sight and visibility. Pretty straightforward. As far as like the cage goes, like, are you cool with the VR2 or did you want to switch it up a little bit? Um, I don't know, dude. What do you think? I mean, I'm. My dad was like, make it like as as low as he wants, as sexy as he wants. Thank you. Nice to meet you. Oh yeah, likewise, man. Take care. Yeah, definitely. No, I think um, 
there's really no re redrawing here um, outside of like kind of configuring this out a little bit. We could do something different, but what I could probably do is I'll get a VR2 built real quick. We'll throw it up there without the dash bar, figure out that whole configuration, and then kind of play with the rear end a little bit. See if we want to drop it, elevate it, whatever, whatever, rake it up, bring it down. Because all this stuff back here, you think is the same? Yeah, it looks it's just... the same. The only thing is, it's like this is going to dictate a, 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 an angle here with this boot. So I'll have to come out the same way and come up. So I'll, this will have to change my B-pillar. Yeah, we'll, we'll take a look at it and see what it looks like. I'll show you, we're like, whatever you, you know, and, and feel free to uh, throw in any any info, you know, like, hey, I like it or I don't. Just let me know and I'll make it right. So we can do that new bumper. Um, I just did a new top tube on it. I don't know if you seen that last night I did yesterday. I didn't. It, yeah, that, that's fine. That'll... So I, I just bit the top tube. Usually I'll stop them here like an inch past the very top there. Super stoked for this, man. Look at this shit. beautiful ass craftsmanship man these handles too like this angle something so simple people would just typically you know this thing is like bent like all weird but like this shit fits so badass i like this little bend that you throw right here dude like something that i think most inside. people yeah like yeah. instead of just running it straight like that this shit looks so clean thanks Something I don't think people will probably even notice, dude, but I mean. Yeah, small details, like a lot of stuff that gets overlooked is like the uh, windshield hideaway gussets. They're always up here. A lot of guys like to run them up here out of yeah. like inch and a quarter. I like to carry the entire circumference of the tube. So we try to use inch and three quarter everywhere we can. Everything's this is badass for the windshield. Yeah, two, rib nuts. Uh, some guys, they'll just drill and tap into the tube depending on the thickness. If it's 120, it could be okay, but you're at like what? 2.75 threads on 0.120. So we always put rivet nuts in everything. Um, everything gets pre-drilled prior to powder coat, like I said, so we're trying to avoid uh, like um, any type of rusting or yep. anything like that after the fact. Well guys, next time you see the old girl, she'll be looking way different. That goofy ass cage, man. Man, the best thing about all this stuff is how quick this dude's gonna knock it out, man. Big shout out to Moy and Brick City, man. Oh my gosh, I can't say enough. This dude is badass and just chopping it up with him for a little short time definitely a good ass fucking dude so very stoked for this partnership and uh, for us to hopefully continue to work together in the future right now it's a little bit toasty i'll probably cool off and then honestly i'm just gonna head into dixon man being that we're right here it's like it's funny dixon 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 damn for real this might be the start of like a low-key dangerous ass addiction deadly financial addiction <laughs> brick city being right there so every time you know we link up in the future i'm gonna go get this or build this car build that car and then i'm just gonna walk right over and come to dixon it's like bro no bueno right there How cool is it to be in here, man? It's crazy that this fool started this from nothing in Long Beach, and now, I mean, he hands down makes the baddest finals ever. Well, got ourselves some goodies. Not really sure what we're gonna do for the rest of the day. Sheesh, Mama Lona looking sherry. Probably go get some Waffle House, bro, you know? When, when Waffle House is around, you can't beat freaking nine dollar breakfast or maybe even less than that you know it's toasty outside today was a good day man i'm freaking stoked for the future and for everything hashtag blessed my boys blessed oh shit you already know no parking that's what i'm talking about hopefully i don't get in trouble with this hotel <laughs> <laughs> 